I've been working on the LS project today and what I should have been able to do in 30 minutes took me about four hours and I wasted that much time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Andy at Lawrenceville Garage. Today has been a bit frustrating. We've got some things accomplished, but uh, uh, we had a couple of issues that were big time wasters. Thought I'd make a quick video just to point out what those two issues were so that if you run into it, you don't make the same mistake I did and maybe you won't waste as much time as I did. So I hope you learned something from the video. Like, subscribe, share. Let's get into it. And here's our project for the day. Our aluminum 5.3 and mounting up the Tremec transmission. I had two issues today that uh, actually cost me quite a bit of time. I found a way around it and I thought I would pass it on to you so that if you run into a similar situation, maybe you don't waste as much time as I did and you can get through it and move on and get more accomplished. Number one was mounting the transmission. I followed all the directions uh, that were supplied with the clutch assembly and the transmission recommending how to mount it all in the process to do it. One thing I found that did not work for me was the instructions stated to mount the bell housing to the engine and then to put the uh, transmission, stab it through the hole in the bell housing to go through the clutch and throw out bearing. That just wasn't happening. It was not going to fit. What I ended up doing there was removing the bell housing and mounting the bell housing to the front of the transmission first. And the reason that worked out better was because the hydraulic throwout bearing and the spacers are round and the clearance between their outer circumference and the hole in the center of the bell housing was really tight. And because of that, it had to be spot on direct hit for it to go in and I wasn't getting it when I was trying to manipulate the weight of the transmission through the clutch assembly to try to mount it. It mounted much simpler this way and with the bell housing attached to the transmission it was actually easier to mount that to the back of the motor and have the uh, outer edge of the bell housing as my guide and have the alignment pegs on the block for the bell housing. Went together much better. The second thing that was a real time saver or waster, depending on how you look at it, was installing the starter. And you can see at the moment the starter is not installed and I'm waiting for another part before I do that, but I wanted to show you why this was so time consuming. In fact, it took me twice as long to get the starter to fit than it did for the transmission. The reason being on the inside of the bell housing, you can see this area that's machined out and there's a ridge right there. And this is for the uh, this area here is for the back of the starter, the snout, to fit through to for the gear to make uh, contact with the flywheel. Well, that clearance is not enough on this transmission. Either this needs to be ground back about another half an inch, or this uh, ridge needs to be ground down. Either way, the tip would be not to wait until it's all together like this to put your starter on, but to put your bell housing on very first thing and try your starter make sure the starter will fit and if it does you're good if it's not and it turns out that this ridge is a problem you can uh, easily pull the bell housing off use a die grinder and spend about five minutes on it uh, knock that ridge down and get your starter to fit first because had we put this whole engine transmission assembly into the truck and then install the starter it would have been a nightmare so at least we know it ahead of time so in this case, with everything assembled, what I have to do is once I realized exactly where the problem was, um, I have to actually grind on the uh, outer casing or that snub of the starter so that it will clear this raised area. So those are two tips. Take it for what it's worth. It may help you on your uh, next project. I hope it does. I hope you like the video. Comments below if you have any. I'd like to hear from you. And I appreciate you watching the video. See you next time.